colorful watercolor and geometry design in this video coming up. To create this look we will need a nail stickers or you can hand paint it too if you feel confident, scissors and tweezers to pick up our design, marble tins by Cherry and Nail Job, I'm using aquamarine blue and barrel pink, those are really beautiful colors, top coat to seal what we created and a white gel polish, I'm using the one by Dance Legend. We will also need an acetone and water for the stickers and for the design. I already prepped the nail and applied the base coat, now I'm applying white gel polish. Like I said, my favorite brand of white currently is Dance Legend. It's very intense and the consistency is thick and I decided to apply it not all the way to the cuticle, but to create a straight line near the cuticle. Honestly, I like it better when it looks like this and also when the nails will start growing it will not be so obvious that they're growing because, you know, it's just the design, it's not the actual application near the cuticle. Even though the color is very intense, I still prefer to do two coats because it's white and we want it to be very bright. You can also use a small brush to fix the line to make it perfectly straight and if you have a deep sidewalls or a deep curve on your nail like I do, you can also use this brush to fix the lines on the sides or along the cuticle. Apply white background on all nails and then we will need to cure it in LED lamp. My color cures one minute. Then we will be applying the second layer, which is completely the same, nothing special here, just since the white is very intense, make sure you will not apply it too thick, because the nails will look wider. As you probably know, white makes everything wider. Okay, now let's go to the design. First, we need to cut the stickers. So these are water stickers, and I prefer them rather than regular stickers, because they're very thin and you cannot notice that this is an actual sticker. Now we cut the owl's head around with the scissors and also we need to remove the sticky layer from the nails because marble tins work better when there is no sticky layer, so make sure you removed it completely from the surface of the nails. Then I'm taking our owl and putting it into the water. It depends on the sticker, but usually 30 seconds is enough and then do not forget to remove the excess water with the tissue because we don't want any water drops on our design and then I will be applying it right on the nail. Carefully separate the clear part from the paper and here we go. I decided to add it on the middle finger, so place it where you want it to be and with the orange wood stick flatten it out and get rid of all the air bubbles. Now let's add some colors. I will be using a pink first. I am taking a small synthetic brush and adding some drops on the left side. Oh my god, this color is so beautiful and so intense. Then I take a drop of the acetone and slightly put some drops and now all the magic happens. Now we get this watercolor marbled look. Oh my god, this is so fun and so exciting. I love this product and you guys get ready to definitely see more of these style designs on my channel because I'm loving it. It's just you do what you want and no matter what you do, it's beautiful. There's no way to mess it up. On the other side, I'm using a blue one the same way. I first apply a few drops of the color and then I add acetone on my brush and start to water it. So it's really up to you. You want to make it more intense, then add more color. You want to make it more transparent, then add more acetone. And honestly, it's really hard to stop. You just want to add and add and play until you like it. So I think it's, it's really fun. And I decided to create a look like there's an actual blobs of the paint on the top and on the owl and then some paint is like dripping down. So this is the look I'm trying to create here. So first I want to add and water some drops, like it's not just a solid blob, but an actual drops of the paint all around the owl. 
add some right here and then I'm using my old ruined brush as you can see the bristles are separated and this is how you can do two parallel lines so this is a nail hack for you guys never throw away anything paints products even if you think they're spoiled you will always find a way to work with them now I'm adding with a larger brush some color to create a look like the paint is actually dripping and also adding some acetone because it seems like I added pink too much on the left side. Now I'm doing the same with the blue on the right side and we'll add more acetone again. Oh my god, this is so fun. I think it's just not possible to ruin it. Now just a little more touch. I decided to remove some color from the edges. I just want to leave some white spots and then let dry. Let's do another one. So now I will be doing a rose and I have a confession for you guys. I don't like flowers. I don't like flowers on the nails. But when it's a geometric rose just like this one, I'm okay with that. Square or triangle rose is the only one I can't stand. So again, pour it in the water for 30 seconds, let dry and carefully separate the clear part from the paper and I decided to apply it closer to the cuticle because I want to create more dripping paints here and also I will show you now how to create a third color in case you just have two. So the same thing, we apply a few drops of pink and then water them down and in my design I think it's okay if we go a little outside of the white background then I'm adding blue on the left side again, water it down, like usual. It always starts with just a couple drops, but then we will get more crazy. Okay, so what if you feel like you want another color? What you can do, just add some pink and fast before it's cured, add blue and here we go. They mixed and we have a beautiful purple color between. You can also take a drop of pink and blue and mix them prior to application, but it will take more time and honestly, I'm too lazy for that. Why not do it right on the nail? And then water it down again. So now we have like an ombre of three colors. Again, I'm using my Magical Ruin brush number one to create a small parallel drips. Isn't it cool? Like when I looked at this brush, I thought like, oh my god, it's not gonna work for anything, but see? It's just perfect for this design. And I am adding more drops of paint right here. So the drips will actually look like there's some paint from which they're dripping down. And again, this trick for creating a purple color, pink color, and we're almost done. Now let dry for a couple minutes. And I think the design will look kind of empty if I will leave another fingers just white. So I decided to add colorful drips here as well, adding some pink on the index finger and if you accidentally added too much color, do not worry, just take the acetone and it will fix everything. And then I'm adding these drips and just more drips. And yeah, it actually looks like this is the part of the whole picture. And on the ring finger, we will be adding some blue, but I think I want this one a little bit more transparent. Like there's actual drops of watercolor that accidentally flowed on these nails. And since we added color to all of the nails, I think we need to add more drips here as well. And again, add some acetone and some colorful blobs. And you know, we cannot miss the pink in our case. So I just feel guilty for leaving it just white. So we will add just a little bit of drops here with a small brush and a little bit with the pink, right? I think this nail deserves a few drops as well. Okay, so with this design, the main rule is you need to stop at some point and I think it's just about the time. Now let dry and seal it with a top coat. I'm using a no cleanse tortiso top coat. Seal it all. Do not forget to cap the free edges. Cure for one minute and here we go. Here are our geometrical rows and the owl. I also created a different kind of owl and the dog. So 
this is the design. Let me guys know what do you think and please write in the comment which one do you like more, the rose, the owl or the duck. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time on my channel, consider subscribing as I post nail art tutorials just like this one every week. See you next time. Bye!